Well, I was living and uh, working offshore on the Channel Islands as a director for uh, a bank um, in my mid to late 30s and really kind of reached a point where I wanted to do something very different. I'd spent my whole life um, climbing the corporate ladder, trying to get to a certain place within my career and I achieved all those things, got to a point and thought, what do I do now? I'm 37 years old, whatever I was at the time. Um, and decided quite by chance by seeing a guy on television from the cam world uh, on a television show demonstrating how modern psychology can actually help people and have a massive impact in terms of their the way they live their lives their overall levels of happiness fulfillment and actual value adding themselves to other people in what they do and I was completely taken aback by that went on a number of training courses in um, psychology, nutrition, and did various things, and downed tools as a, a senior exec, and moved my family back to the UK, where I set up in private practice. I did things in a very normal, um, traditional way. There was no rocket science to how I did it. I got my qualifications, I set up my website, I wandered around uh, my local town looking for a really good place to work from uh, and literally just knocked on the door. I had my young daughter with me at the time so we wandered up and met various people. Um, so I had good premises, um, I was in a good location and my website was very visible and I learned very quickly how to get the website to where it needed to be found. I also did a number of things that, I, that came to me very instinctively, like joint, joint ventures with the local gym. But I went in there on the basis of, you know, I've got lots of clients that want to come to your gym. Um, can you give me some literature so I can give it to them and they can come and join you? And in return, perhaps you can refer the odd client to me. And we I built long term relationships with local businesses. Probably the beginnings of the cam coach came about around 2009 um, I was writing a monthly column at the time for the cam magazine Simon Martin um, got to know Simon extremely well we started to collaborate on a few ideas and we did some research um, at around that time which I found fascinating so you had this large group of people that were enormously academic, extremely bright, had a massive passion for helping people. And I'm talking about nutritional therapists primarily, and they were going through university and coming out at the other end. And the majority of them weren't going into private practice. And the reason for this was they had a lack of confidence. Um, so they had all these wonderful skills, enormously academic, very bright, but when it came to setting up their practice and actually going out and making money from what they'd learned over all these years at university, they weren't doing it. Or most of them weren't. I think the number was something like 65%. So when Simon and I were researching this model, we could say that most people had their nutritional degree, but didn't actually go out and do anything with it. And of those that did, sadly, a huge chunk of them didn't go beyond their first year. So it was very, very obvious to both Simon and I that there was a this wonderful chunk of people helping others in the UK, very clever, very bright, um, but they just didn't have some of the basic business skills, and why would they, uh, in their defence, to actually go out and then turn what they'd learned into a viable business model. And that's where the cam coach came from. You know, I love this industry and I've got a massive passion for working with nutritional therapists. I often say when I meet them for the first time, I love working with nutritional therapists and people look at me in a, in a kind of strange way. The reason is they are, one, one they're a wonderful group of people. Um, two, they are driven to help other people. Three, this is a wonderful, wonderful industry. You know, coming from a corporate world into this fantastic cam industry where people are helping each other, people can work together successfully, people pass on leads and joint venture and work with others. Um, 
I just feel that the industry is a very warm industry and also an industry where the people within it are hugely knowledgeable. You know, they know things and, uh, about functional medicine and nutrition way beyond um, anything else that you'll ever find, really. You know, even if you went to a doctor or a private GP um, who obviously have their own strengths, nutritional therapists are a breed of their own. And I really love helping them learn and develop that deep level of knowledge that enables them to put things in practice they've never done before and see the result and watch their business start and begin to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just a fan it's just a wonderful wonderful thing to be part of and I you know I love doing it my frustration is that we are not given more scope um, opportunity to share these wonderful skills with a much wider and broader range of people in the UK. I mean, ideally I'd like to see nutritional therapists um, in every doctor's surgery in the UK. They have a, had an enormous value. We get people that love, have heard all about NLP, coaching techniques, strategies, are fascinated by it and want to come and learn it. So, and those people come from all walks of life. They can be in the corporate world where they've developed a fantastic set of people skills and they're thinking about how to use those skills elsewhere, how to harness their knowledge and take it to a new level by learning NLP. So we get those kind of people. And then we get people from the therapeutic world at the moment, nutritional therapists, coaches, health practitioners that want to learn these skills professionally to add it to their current range of modalities, so um, therapeutic disciplines. So we get people from two different camps. We run two courses within the NLP world, the world of modern psychology. The first course we, we, we run, I wrote with two main objectives in mind. Number one was to give students a therapeutic experience themselves, a life-changing experience, so they would come on the course and learn things about themselves, strategies, um, put them through this program where they would come out at the other end uh, completely different and addressing the world in a very different way. So that was the first thing. And the second thing, I'm a massive believer in anything uh, can be achieved with the right mindset. And that mindset for me, a lot of it comes from neuro-linguistic programming. So we um, create the right environment on our NLP practitioner, get the life you want. One, for a therapeutic journey for our student, but two, to arm them with the skills, knowledge and confidence to not only use these techniques on themselves, but to be able to go out there and coach other people at the same time. The second type of course we run is, feels when I'm talking about it, to be much more of a vocational educational experience where it's, it's our flagship course, the Integrated Diploma in NLP Hypnosis and Coaching. We've been running this course for 12 years um, and this course Really, I mean, um, it's extremely popular and students will benefit from learning three main disciplines, those being NLP, hypnosis and life coaching. So we have the course at practitioner level, mastery level, and then you can go on and learn via the CAM coach models how to set up your practice. And finally, for those that want to, they can learn how to break into the corporate world and actually coach business clients. My three most memorable clients, so without giving this a lot of thought, the three that come to mind, I guess, number one was the young girl that had lost her sight um, and the medical profession had confirmed it was an organic problem, um, so it wasn't a physical problem and we went through a program together and she regained her sight. Uh, which was phenomenal um, and you can see an article about that below uh, and a link to that article. That was obviously an, an, enormous, um, an enormous experience to be part of that and see this happen. Um, the second most memorable client I guess was 
uh, a guy that I got on an aeroplane that had to fly with his job. He'd lost his confidence, he couldn't get on an aeroplane. So I did a program with him um, and we actually got him on an aeroplane, but this was all filmed live on TV. So that was extremely memorable. And the third most memorable client, I've had so many, the one that comes springs to mind was working with one of the leading stars from the West End in terms of a guy that was on stage at the London Palladium at the time, lost his confidence and he came down and I did a three hour session with him. He went back, back to the Palladium where he was a, he was a star, this chap, very, very, very an excellent um, uh, performer and uh, he went back on stage successfully and actually invited us all down to the Palladium to watch him some years later, which was absolutely uh, amazing, an amazing experience to see that happen. So those are my, th I mean, there's so many, but those are the, in terms of my own personal coaching, those would be the three. Our whole life over the last 10 or 12 years has been so different. And we've done so many things, um, working with ordinary people, working with celebrities, working with world champion sportsmen. I think the biggest thing for me personally is to have written a book, co-written a book with somebody, and that book has found its way into the university syllabus at a number of UK universities and colleges in Ireland. And for me, that's just incredible. You know, I'm, I'm so pleased that people are reading my material and it's helping them with their learning and enabling them to go out and we get a lot of a lot of people write to us, expressing their how, how valuable that uh, book's been. So I guess my big the, the biggest thing for me is is just you know seeing that going on, and it's making a massive difference to the practitioners, and in turn them going out and making a massive difference to their clients' lives. Um, well, there's, two, well, there's a number of things going on actually at the moment. So we've recently done a television pilot whereby um, we're looking at how the functional medicine and integrative mind skills can help people perhaps where at the moment um, there's, a, there's an element of people that struggle in that particular space. Um, so a holistic approach to integrative psychology. So that pilot has been done and we're just now waiting on the results from that and to see where that's going to go. And the second really exciting thing for us that's going on is um, the cam coach model. So our business, currently we're talking to various people around taking the cam coach into America in a, in a, in a formal structure. At the moment, we sell lots of books into America but because um, they have a big functional medicine presence there and that's the way they do things. But we're now getting something actually a little bit more substantial and concrete and organised where the model and our uh, Life Practice Academy, which is all of our CAM Coach courses, will actually have a, a proper presence in the USA, which is extremely exciting. One of the things we're looking to do this year is to actually get across and do a series of talks and presentations where I can, I can actually meet some of the people that have bought the book. Um, some, ver some very interesting people over there. So taking the CAM Coach uh, seminars um, and so forth and actually meeting the American audience and the people that are buying the book.